stage, so... They're, they're, they're counting the votes right now, but we're very confident, Democratic you know, whether they're counting them electronically by hand. I'm um, really excited with the support we got today, and looking forward to going up there and uh, being the endorsed candidate for the Democratic nomination. So, they're continuing to count, they can count by hand, they can count electronically, however it is, we're really excited by the support we got here today, and look forward to continuing this campaign through September 4th. This is just the beginning. It's a great moment, it's a great validation, I think, of the important issues we've been talking about, like same day voter registration, automatic road registration, new ideas and accountability in the secretary's office, but we have a long road ahead of us. Thank you, Michael. Does Didn't we do a great job, everyone? What's the, what's the problem? All the other votes have been counted. You know, I want to make sure that I, I'm, I'm glad they want to be confident in the result. I'm confident in the result. It's not a particularly close margin from my understanding, but we're going to be waiting for the official word and then looking forward to going up there. And, uh, you know, I certainly think it's been, uh, been a great day uh, for our campaign, a great day for Democrats and for some of these new ideas that we're talking about. Clearly, the party, the members of the Democratic Party support these ideas. I look forward to talking to more and more of them as we go on to the primary in September 4th. You've been disappointed that a lot of delegates are leaving and by the time you get up there to talk, uh, there's not going to be many up here. You know, we had, a, we had a great opportunity to talk to the delegates here earlier today and we got a great response from them on those, on those remarks. And I think we see that in the voting results. You know, I look forward to seeing the final tally, but from what I hear and what I see, the margin is... Uh, and we want to thank each and every We've been told the uh, secretary is challenging the validity yeah. of the some of the results. What, what, do you, what, are, what are your thoughts on that? You know, listen, I think that it's important that the results are accurate, which is why they're counting the paper ballots as well as electronically. Um, it is not a close margin right now. So, uh, you know, I haven't talked to Secretary Galvin. I don't know where he is or what he's doing about that. Um, but, you know, there are the folks in there counting, and I expect the results will hold. Counselor, as you probably know, uh, Secretary Galvin apparently told people I wasn't there. Bench. told some members of the media that to this is a race where one candidate knows Democratic what he's doing and leadership. one candidate doesn't. Mm -hmm. I think that's and a pretty so decent he paraphrase. Uh, he's left the building apparently before the outcome the is in. Is he taking your challenge Veronica personally, Martinez. do you think? You know, I was unaware that he left the building. I certainly think that speaks as much as anything else about what the results are going to be. And uh, if he feels that he is going to be winning this endorsement, I think he would have stayed here. Um, I've kept this uh, as positive as we can, talking about what we want to do in the secretary's office, talking about the changes we want to make. Um, you know, Secretary Galvin wants to make this about personal attacks. I think that's unfortunate, but I look forward to continuing talking directly to the voters as we did here today and we will for the next three months before the September 4th primary. Does his departure, even if it is going to not go in his direction, say anything to you? Um, you know, I don't know what his schedule is. Maybe it's something important to get back to back in Brighton, but um, I'm excited to be here with the, with the core, the base of the Democratic Party, the people who have led so many important candidacies from Paul Patrick and Laura Healy to Elizabeth. I'm incredibly excited to have their support today and grateful.